Hello, hello, hello there. I'm BRC, even though you can't see me. Welcome to EBCV TV. Hello and welcome to what I think is a landmark moment in food journalism. Today, I'm ranking every aphrodisiac food. Now, it's one thing for me to tell you what it tastes like, what it looks like, whether or not I like it. It's another thing entirely to know whether or not it works. That's why today, I'm joined by Dan Ribikoff, professional polygraph examiner, who's here to tell you, beyond a shadow of a doubt, whether or not I am indeed aroused. So, yeah. join me in this first and probably last time that we're going to do something like this. Let's get horny. So, Dan, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Can you tell me a little bit about what I'm hooked up to here? Sure. So, you have sensors on your body that are going to measure physiological changes that take place in your body when you answer truthfully or when you lie. So, we have two pneumographs that measure respiration, one around the upper body, one around the middle of your body. We have electrodermal activity sensors that measure huh. sweat gland activity, and we have a blood pressure cuff which measures cardiac activity. Those are what we monitor in a polygraph test. Now, is this the strangest one of these you've ever done? Uh, it's one of them, up, up there in the top five, to say the least. It's top five, it's a ranking show. We made the top five, there we go. I think that gets us an Emmy. This, this shoe could not be more thematically perfect. The air conditioning is broken in my house. Last night, I was laying... How long is this is Radio Farty Man? Robe. <laughs> In my bed, staring at the ceiling. Meanwhile, in let's talk Boy, about some uh, other stuff. The stars are aligning. I love it. So, like what let's get the ASAZ I said. Want to see if food can indeed induce a physical reaction akin to sexual arousal. With yeah, the yeah, we first know. Dish, no big surprise. It's oysters. Thank you for making raw oysters by white people, which sounds disgusting. Don't eat raw oysters. Eat cooked mussels <laughs> with cheese. Yeah, don't eat raw oysters. I mean, I haven't tried raw oysters, but from what I gather, is one, you're going to get sick from eating raw stuff. Number two, you're going to get sick from eating raw oysters. And number three, it's raw oysters. So there you go. Don't eat raw oysters. Not just from the buffet. No, from the Chinese, or, well, what used to be China Gourmet up in uh, Southridge. That, I mean, I know that's no longer a restaurant, but they used to have that. I didn't eat it. I, I ate the crayfish or the crawfish. I, I liked it there, but then after that, I didn't like it because it was horrible afterwards. Uh, next time I tried crawf crawfish after that, it was tasted like cabbage to me, which I don't like cabbage. So either one, they're, they're, it's just not appealing yeah. to. What do you call this? Mignonette. Thank you for making Mignonette. Mignonette. Let's see what happens. Oh, I mean, those are really good. I'm usually like, I'll do. I think he should have used the St. Elmo shrimp cocktail sauce. That would have been powerful. Do oysters. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my feeling on oysters. I'll do oysters. And these are, you know, very sort of light and creamy. They must be probably East Coast. I, I think that's what, how they usually come out. It doesn't, it, it's pretty briny, but it's not like super fishy. It doesn't taste like low tide. You know what I mean? Nice way to start a meal. What the hell? Oh, God. <laughs> Dan? Is your first name Andrew? Yes. Right now, are you in the seated position? Yes. Are we currently in Brooklyn, New York? Yes. Do you intend to answer each question truthfully on this test? Yes. Are you aroused? <laughs> no. Yeah, no, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm not aroused. Yeah, you would have to eat a bunch of oysters. So, oysters. Tasty, fun, slightly erotic in nature, but not physically inducing arousal. Yeah, you would have to eat what a bunch of oysters to do that. I have not that. thought about my ranking metric for this. <laughs> I, I guess I need to take efficacy into account, right? Delicious. <laughs> it's kind of like if... Uh, if 
on the green M&M thing, you know. You will have to eat a bunch of M&Ms, and then after that, I don't think you'll be around. I think you'll be on the sugar high if you eat a bunch of green M&Ms. Uh, uh, refreshing. And, and From what I gather, and plus green M&Ms are and just, I know it's a, no chocolate's an aphrodisiac, but it but would take a lot of M&Ms, because number one, it, it didn't really do anything it's, it's, I mean, it's not, it's not the real good chocolate, you, you know what I'm saying, like the dark chocolate, uh, you know, it's the milk work. chocolate. I think that drops it down to a seven. Is this so, an Italian frying pepper? I believe it's a tiger skin pepper. How many foods are phallic today, would you say? You want to try to make eat this as unsexily as possible. <laughs> that probably gonna be spicy. Oh. Mm, okay. The ribs. Oh. What spicy? Well, okay, I'm gonna say this is actually an aphrodisiac and it would make them aroused because it's spicy. Could be absolutely mild, and then back here it's like, it's like a really hot jalapeno level. Yeah. I'm starting to sweat. So, uh, as a aphrodisiac in and of itself, this is more of an aphrodisiac ingredient, and I'm gonna take that into account. Um, it's not something that you'd just be like, hey, honey, happy anniversary. You want to just mainline some peppers together while we watch uh, <laughs> Grays? It tastes like a green pepper that is really spicy. And I don't like yeah. green peppers to begin with because they kind of taste like dirt to me. Uh, so this is kind of dirt. I, I wonder if a jalapeno is an aphrodisiac, but I'm pretty sure it's as not. As an ingredient, it could be a lot of fun if you're making a nice spicy meal. Uh, but on its own, it's a sexy shape, but not much else. <laughs> Did that pepper arouse you? It was spicy. <laughs> I mean, in, in all actuality, kind of. <laughs> like, kind of. Because it made my pulse start to race. It's made me sweaty. It feels a bit like arousal. Um, is that arousal, or is it just an imitation of arousal? This isn't an answer, Dan. I'm sorry. Uh, yes, slightly. True. I'm slightly aroused, it would seem. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry you have to watch. Um, that's just the straight out of food. For hold on, man. Guy. Hold on. This is funny, but I, I don't know what else to say about this. Two, it's not very romantic. It's a long I'm trying to find some food for news for or just regular so, news. Making a difference. Neighbors that. concerned like, about road. Seven, get a seven. Okay, I, I don't want to look up. Because that's all roads in West Virginia. Cat. You know, like Protein goals and tracking. Where's the KRT news? Alright. What's that? I like things. Well, uh, let's see what All they figs. Do. These are not the best figs I've ever had. Oh, okay. But. FanDuel Casino has your chance at the number one feeling. Winning which ranks even higher than the 18th best feeling saving a kid from a well. 59 years later. Damn, that's sad. I know sad. what like out in the world. These taste exactly like raisins. Saving a kid after that many They're years is... Yeah, you know, little wrinkly sack. You know, you know, steep. See, they're not going to permanently cut those routes so they're good. Nice <laughs> I would get worried, you know. People were getting worried. I mean, I don't use all the... Oh, that's, uh, shit, that was loud as fuck. They're good for you? How? I don't know if I would um, profit them. I don't know if you heard that, but that was loud. You know what I mean? If you're trying to get lucky... Because you're like, hey, baby, look at what's coming later. Figs. Sorry. So those are figs, okay. Do those figs arouse you? Okay. Um, I highly doubt it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, my God. Okay. <clears throat> no. These figs didn't arouse me. Lie. All right. Well... I guess I'm aroused, without my knowledge. I mean, I, should I 
ding their score because they get you aroused without you even knowing it? How do you know what I'm aroused? Did my, my pulse spike or something? Or my hands? We spike? had what's known as a significant reaction on the polygraph charts. These figs gave me a significant reaction. Gotta give them props. Uh. You know? I don't know. They're just boring. They, 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 they're really a fancy raisin. I, is everything getting sevens today? <laughs> I mean, you know what? Okay, no. They got me aroused without me even knowing it. <laughs> this looks fun today. Six. I think six for figs. Just because, you know. Yeah, the pepper got me excited. <laughs> these, these just snuck in in the cut without me even knowing it, which, you know. Huh. Don't be sneaky about it. Be up front. Now that's sexy. Six. Oh, an avocado. Which you hold on, hold on. We need a pause for a minute. Look, I know we're not sponsored by anyone, but if I was sponsored by someone, I'd let you know if this video was sponsored by anybody. Of course, we're not sponsored yet, but until the meantime, we'll talk about some food news which we're not sponsored by. And this comes from Popeyes, and this also comes from Food Beast. Popeyes is taking its claim as the official wing of uh, watching football. Um, number one, I don't care if you're in the football or not. Football is probably going to die within years from now as a sport, unless something miraculous happens in the meantime. But anyway, they're bringing the heat with a new, a brand new flavor to back it up, sweet and smoky Chipotle. And here's also the other funny thing, people. After me saying that, I did do a bonus bet on Atlanta Falcons beating the Jacksonville Jaguars. $5 bonus bet. And guess what? Still, I haven't won yet because that's tonight. I don't watch football, so I don't know if I'm going to win or lose. Hopefully I win. At least it's just a bonus bet. Anyway, but Popeyes isn't just confident. They're bold enough to throw down a challenge. And they're known they're, they have got the best wings in the game. Ew! When with other brands rolling out their own sweet and smoky flavors this season... Popeyes is ready to take things off the field. Hold on, let's go back to the video real quick. Shit. But uh, as you may know, Popeyes is interesting at the restaurant. I tried both of their sandwiches and their bone-in stuff. I like their bone-in... I like their bone-in chicken better than their sandwiches. Which is nice. Uh, tastes like an avocado. Can that you avocado, see me? Probably. It tastes like exactly like See, that. that's I'm, my hand. Saying, I like avocado. I know that with the dirty gesture, <laughs> but this is a dirty video. Did that avocado arouse you? I don't know. I wasn't nope. paying attention. It makes me think too much of breakfast. And I'm not a morning, doing it in the morning kind of guy. More of an afternoon to evening delight person. That's the truth. Damn. Today. Sorry. <laughs> um, Damn. Uh, yeah. No. I mean, uh, it's it's wonderful as a, a food product. But anyway, um, yeah, the sweet and smoky flavor this uh, season. Popeyes is ready to take one, things really, off of the field. What it does to me, From August 26th to September 8th, they're offering a so, deal that's uh, hard to pass up. A free six-piece six of their new wings with a $10 minimum purchase is the perfect setup for a wing flavor uh, showdown. And you really know it because, well, you know it. People, you know what else you may know? The new sweet and smoky Chipotle wings hit participating U.S. Popeye locations nationwide starting Monday, August the 26th. What's he eating now? All oh, artichokes. Nice. I'm a happy camper. But what about my people? Good. Did that artichoke arouse you? It was not. Uh, True. Artichokes. They are very good for you. They're very pretty. Yeah, and they're also good in Spanish artichoke dip. 
Chris or they Reed. were at TGI Friday that one time. I am going to give these a nine. I love artichokes, and the fact that they can put some lead in my pencil is just a bonus. <gasps> chocolate, and not just any chocolate. Dr. Bronner's Magic All One Chocolate, whose entire label I'm now going to read. From Confucius Absolutes, Moral ABC Book 2, it is an absolute full truth that everybody in God's tremendous universe must eat or there is no body. To shine on, eat must even the sun. What? That, 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 what that. Anyway, I could go on. That sounds like a. That sounds like a bunch of bull. Quite well. Sounds like you know, like how a medieval person would, a medieval English person would say st stuff like that. But, but I don't know how to explain it. That sounds like God made it. Okay. But of course. I love dark chocolate. I love it when there's salt in it. I love Dr. Bronner's. I love everything on this plate. But how much do I love them? Did that chocolate arouse you? Here's the other thing. I can't tell if I'm just still aroused or if it's just hot. It's like 85 degrees in here and I might just be warm. It's the perfect day to be doing this because it's just messing with me from, from a sensitive Damn. perspective. But am I aroused by this chocolate? I want like this. Yeah, a little bit truth it tastes delicious uh this is like my very favorite chocolate bar it's crazy for me to not give it a, a 10 it's it's one of my very favorite yeah on planet earth good thing krt not getting it's, rid of those bus routes that's my whistle now uh, they can get rid of the sunday service or whatever hope they but they didn't mention anything about raising the price of the bus pass they haven't said anything about that yet. They didn't say that in the article, but they said that a while back that they were, ha were thinking about raising the bus pass from $2.50 to $3.50. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 So it's very strawberry-like in taste, texture, and appearance. These are not the best berries I've had in my life. Driscoll's? Foxy. Foxy, I should have known. Well, that's not very sexy. Oh, wait, no, but it's Foxy. That's suggestive. But suggestive of what? What are you suggesting? Let's find out. <laughs> oh, don't look right at it. Why was I looking right at it? Is that going to help it turn on? Somebody needs to give these lights some, uh, some of their artichokes. Did those strawberries arouse you? No, they didn't. <laughs> lie. I'm not lying. <laughs> I don't feel aroused right now. I'm just simply not lying. But if, you know, this were a murder trial, I'd be going to jail. So, I mean, it's a great food. You've got to love strawberries. But as far as uh, uh, its its, a, its effect on me, I really don't feel it. But if the, if the machine says I do, then I'm obliged to give them an eight. Because they're great food and they're 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 great in bed. This is actually really good in bed food. You have to think of it. It's messless and uh, you can trace them along your uh, partner's uh, ridges, like in the movies. I've seen that before. Bonus. Uh oh. This is two aphrodisiacs in one. Somehow hotter. I don't know why. Still filming. Oh, I love how it imprints the looks like strawberry. It seeds on the inside of chocolate. If strawberries won't get an eight, and chocolate, which got a ten, is put on top of those strawberries, we're, we're looking at another ten here. One does not detract from the other. It only adds, just like great sex. This is the one that I read about years ago, and I was like, bull oh, So asparagus, the stuff that makes your pee smell funny, apparently gets your goose gaggling. Oh, they're perfectly cooked candles. Blanched and chilled. This is really great because it makes it super tender. You know, sometimes you can get tough ends on asparagus. Um, or it can be stringy uh, or wrinkly, you know, any number of things. But, you know, they look plump and tumescent with anticipation. That's sexy. Yeah, I mean, 
an excellent side to a romantic meal with potentially some unfortunate pitfalls in the uh, down there. Does that asparagus make you horny, Babish? <laughs> This asparagus was very good and very well prepared. The vinaigrette was nothing short of delightful. Knowing what it's going to do to my urine later, media turn on. Not that I'm doing that, you know. Uh oh. <laughs> Don't want people to think that. Just it's just that area. It's not that I'm I'm not into pee stuff. Dan, is that true? True. <sighs> Thank God. I didn't want to find out that way. <laughs> Just knowing that that area is imbued with less than ideal scent strikes fear into my heart that takes away any sexual excitement. So I'm not saying no, I'm not aroused by this asparagus. Lie. Damn. Folks, I want to point out that I'm making no effort to lie. I'm not trying to be deceitful or, or anything. I, it, I, it just, apparently my body is telling a story that my brain is not. Would, would you say that's accurate? Yes, sir. Thank you, Dan. <clears throat> I wasn't prepared for, I wasn't ready for you. So I'm not trying to be duplicitous or anything like that. It's just asparagus has an effect on me that I can't control uh, in so many ways. My sexual arousal and the scent of my urine. So, with that in mind, knowing that it's a quick and easy side dish that's on the table in 10 minutes or less, no, the, the piss smell. I'd give it a 9, but the piss smell <laughs> knocks it down to a 7. How about that? 7 on asparagus. Just mm. straight up honey. Just honey. Do I eat it? Do I drink it? What am I doing? I'll drink it. All right, I'm going to shoot this whole thing down. <laughs> I'm going to take a sizable amount of it. I'm not going to do the whole thing. I wouldn't do it that much. It was so much. Oh. Ah. What is today going to do to my body? And not even in a sexual way, just like, what's going to happen? Okay. <laughs> it's honey. It's probably my favorite form of sugar. I do love honey. I will say, it is amongst the messiest substances on planet Earth. You get it? even just a drop on your hand or on something, it gets everywhere. So forget using this in any kind of play. You can't just, just cover each other in honey. You'd be doing laundry for a week. It's I wish I could skip really this video really because it's so long. It's an I'm not going to look at it. I can't. I almost look at it. <laughs> Did the honey arouse you? I would say no Every time you ask or me, yes. My body and Dan, I think the honey me a little bit. True. Oh, it is? Like huh. sugar rush. Might have just, you know, zapped me with a bunch of glucose. Um, in fact, mm. that's probably what's happening. I feel a burst of energy. <laughs> let me, let me say this. down two tablespoons of honey. So, next time you're about to get down with the get down, uh, just do a big old shot of honey. I gotta give it a ton. It's honey. I'm gonna give it a ton of it. And seven? What am I out of my mind? It's honey. Oh. Check this out. I'm going to show you how I afforded this car. I'm going to skip this. Okay, you ready? All right. Uh. Right. What? Get out of town. Watermelon? Watermelon. Is that There are kids that eat this at picnics. I, I, I love watermelons. <laughs> it's a great, my, maybe my favorite melon. Uh, this is a particularly nice one. Seedless. Love for seedless. I don't friendly. like watermelon, do you? It's cool, refreshing, especially. Let me know in the comments. Like today. So yeah, um, a sweet, I mean, light, to me, I like the artificial, <sighs> but then in that the artificial <sighs> airheads candy, I like that, but. Did that watermelon arouse you? I'm going to say. You know, I don't think it did. I'm sorry yeah. to say. True. It's a great huh. thing, but it did not get my 12 men angry. Hey, that's know, what I was about to say. I don't it's know what I was about to say, actually, uh, but that's what I was thinking. Well, it. Given its congruency to sex, 
If you were to have it before or after, it would be delightful. It's nice and light. It wouldn't, you know, weigh you down. Mm -hmm. It would be really refreshing after a particularly... <laughs> after, you know, really showing up. Simply because it has no actual, like, physically exciting properties, let's, let's give it a, an, an eight. Okay, we got ashwagandha tea. A substance that is currently in my system because I take it as a supplement in the morning. It's supposed to be good for your brain. I didn't know it was an aphrodisiac. I thought this was a nootropic. This is an, aphro this is an aphrodisiac? It does it all. <laughs> good old-fashioned ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is a mushroom. Evergreen shrub. Excuse me? Can somebody verify? Evergreen shrub. What have I been taking? I thought it was mushrooms. It's in the nightshade family. It's in the nightshade family. That's why I thought it was a mushroom. You know, some other things happen in the show tonight. Oh, cool tension. But you could, you could, you could breathe this air with a fork and knife. The difference between the pills that I take in the morning. Sorry, I had um, said maximum size reach. Oh, I would. <laughs> That's gross. That. Like but I guess I could do like another clip. Around the corner. Clip. Clip. Dull basement tea taste. It's gross. Bad. And I'm already hot, so drinking this hot tea is doing me no favors. Worth it. No, I almost dropped it. Did that tea turn you off? Maybe it hasn't kicked in yet. How long does it take to kick in? I Googled that and it said 10 weeks. <laughs> it tastes bad. It takes 10 weeks to kick in. <laughs> And it's hot, and I'm already hot. Oh, I have to answer the question. Uh, no, this tea does not make me aroused. True. So, yeah, no, it, it, it takes a long time to kick in. I've heard of hair plugs that grow faster than that. <sighs> Which is sexier. But, uh, yeah, so I really don't like any aspect of it. The fact that maybe it does work in 10 weeks, apparently, yeah, I guess that's good. But you have been taking it for some time. No, wait, yeah, what am I saying? I take it every morning. Been taking it for 10 weeks. And I haven't, I haven't, I've had a constant erection for 10 weeks. That's false. You got me. I'd be probably dead, right, if I had an erection for 10 weeks? Yeah, Drinking you probably I'm would be. I chance that, it's, that it works. I haven't felt any change in my libido or whatever, considering I've been taking it for a long time. Again, I thought for my brain health. It, I, it's awful. Uh, I'd much rather just take a capsule. I have no earthly idea why you make tea out of this, just so you can taste it instead of just swallow it. Uh, um, uh, so, like a like a two, I think two on ashwagandha tea. This is just to get me to say nothing. You just want me to say nothing. Well, I already just said it. So nuts. Specifically these nuts, almonds, pistachios, and walnuts. Three of my very favorite nuts, especially pistachios. I love pistachios. Apparently uh, uh, nuts can improve, improve your heart function and blood something. And, you know, I don't have to tell you, fellas, how important that is. Or do I? As far as, like, its hotness, like, you know, I'm about to get down. Honey, here, here's mm -hmm. nuts. I don't know. That's not like doing it for me. They might not be the sexiest. I guess they're kind of sexy. No, not really. They might not be the sexiest objects in the world, but I sure do love nuts. Did those nuts arouse you? No, I can't say as though they did. Man. Truth. Not these kinds of nuts. Okay, so they don't work immediately. They're more for your sexual health, I guess. But I wouldn't call that an aphrodisiac. Aphrodisiac, I think, is like in the moment, right? Dan? Yes. Thank you. You know, so, okay, great. This is good for your health, but uh, I'm here to get rock salt right now. And, uh, yeah, this is, uh, it's not really good for me, but they're nuts. They're one of, again, another perfect food stuff from nature. And, uh, uh, to, to, and also they're not super sexy to look at, and... Um, but they're easy to put out. It's a nice snack. They're good protein. You need that. They're pretty, you know, I'm, I'm really torn on them, so I think that's a five. Five for nuts. Only the scent. Only the scent? Oh, I don't have to drink this vanilla extract. Oh, that's music to my mouth. According no. One study, 9% of men should increase arousal. 9%? Yeah. 
If somebody told me, take this drug for your disease, 9% of the time it works, I'd be like, I'm gonna go get Reiki done or something. Probably has a higher success rate than 9%. Let's find out. Am I part of the lucky nine? <laughs> Pure Madagascar vanilla extract. I'm really huffing this, I really wanna. It's vanilla extract. It smells like vanilla. Extract tastes like vanilla. It is vanilla extract, and that's that's all I have to say about that. Yeah. Did that vanilla extract arouse you? No. Lie. You got nothing on me. Lie. You got nothing on me. These charges ain't gonna stick. He's a liar. I'm going to jail. I guess it must be doing something to my body. Just because you can use it in cookies and cocktails alike. Uh, I would probably give vanilla a... But the fact that you have to, like, huff it, a little awkward, but uh, great to have in your pantry. So uh, I'm going to give it a give it an eight. Oh, uh, that's interesting. Haven't seen a, that happen yet. Yeah, you two smoking in a long time. Like in Haven't seen like that in a while. Let's see what the real cigarette now. Where the f*** did you get fresh fenugreek? I've, I, I have a hard enough time finding dried fenugreek. Okay, what do I do with it? Do I just eat it? It really smells like nothing. Nothing. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, it's so bitter. Oh, it's just like arugula without, without the personality. Oh, just flat, bitter, green. I mean, I hope I'm not, like, offending anybody, but this is gross to eat. <laughs> like, I don't know if you, when you cook it, it gets better, but, like... It's just bitter. I'm only getting bitter off this. Then again, I did just smoke a cigarette that might be in. When the bitter comes on, it's so strong immediately. Uh, how much of this do I have to eat to become aroused? How much is 600 milligrams? 600 milligrams. All right, I've had enough. Okay. I've eaten well more than 600 milligrams of fenugreek. I'm gonna say did no. Did the Greek arouse you? No, it did not, Dan. That's the truth. Yeah, that's what yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, sexy about this, nothing that I like culinarily about it, so I think that's gonna be good. Uh, I'm sure it has great nutritional value, so I'll give it two. What this is? Hello. That's gin. So I'm just gonna do this shot of gin right now. Time is it? Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's 4.15. Okay. Here goes. Uh, okay, well, I like gin. I normally don't do shots of it. Who does shots of gin? Does anybody do shots of gin? Did the gin arouse you at all? Yeah, the alcohol's hit my blood. That alone did the trick. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, there's the juniper berries, and then there's you, Dan. This is the big three. True. Why lie? Uh, I like gin, not as a shot, and I feel slightly warm and fuzzy now, thanks to the alcohol inside of it, and it apparently has multifaceted arousal properties. It's a win-win. So, uh, I think gin's gonna get a solid rock hard. All right. Well, I just had 15 celebrated food aphrodisiacs. I don't know what lies ahead of me tonight, but uh, I feel uh, certainly aroused. Um, 100%. True. Uh, I genuinely do, even though there are four cameras on me and all of my employees slash friends uh, looking at me, judging me, which actually makes it better. So I don't like this. I don't have a problem. But I do like being watched. <laughs> I'm actually gonna, uh, a little bit of a serious note for a moment. 
Uh, while I'm strapped up to this thing, I want to say something to you, the viewers, that is not sexual, I promise. <laughs> it's that um, I want to say thank you very much for uh, watching and for giving us the latitude to play and do stuff like this, because this was so much fun to make, and uh, we just are really grateful for you watching and sticking with us over the years, and I'm grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you so much. True. So, now when I say I love you, you know I mean it. True.